Fabian Galtier has announced his squad of 33 for the upcoming World Cup where they are the hosts. So first of all, we will go through the squad itself. Then we look at like they have actually a list of supplementaries, which are kind of the players who, you know, were unlucky to miss out and could actually come into the squad depending on what happens with injury. Obviously there's no Entomac in here because of injury. Such an amazing player and it's really sad that he's missing the World Cup. But let's have a look at the forwards first. So we've got Dorian Aldeherdi, Gregory Aldrit, Uni Antonio, Cyril Bai, Paul Baudin, Pierre Bogarit, Francois Cross, Sibli Falatea, Thibaut Flamon, Jean Baptiste Cross, Anthony Jalanche, Sekou Makalou, Julian Marchand, Vito Maravaca, Charles Onivon, Romain Tofi Fanua, Red Awardy, Paul Willemse, and Cameron Woki. Into the backs, then we got Louis Bielbiari. Baptiste Coulon, Jonathan Dante, Anton Dupont, Gil Ficou, Anton Astoy, Mathieu Jalabert, Melvin Jaminet, Maxime Lucou, Yora Mofana, Damien Penot, Thomas Ramos, Gabine Billier, and Arthur Vincent. So, you know, it's, it's a really, really strong squad. Like, you're looking at those players, you know, there's a, there's a lot of quality in the squad. We've got, you know, the likes of Biel Biari and Coulon, who kind of came with late runs to get into to the, to get into the squad. Like, uh, both of them really impressed though when they got their chance. Like, they really shown that they are to the manner born as it were like the, both of them took to test rugby like ducks to water but there's another player who is on the supplementaries list who i thought was exactly in that same category i'm really surprised that they're not there so let's have a look at those and we'll come back and talk about the squad again so we have uh demba bamba you know um decent player and you know is a kind of player that if he was if he was in or out really you know you know he's going to do a job for france and he might be one of the first players who is called up as well uh Gaetan barlow then we got bastian charlerou dylan cretin uh thomas La- Laclayat, Jan Tanga, Sebastian Taufi Fanua, Florin Verhey, Bruce Dulan, really surprised um, with him being excluded. But again, you know, younger players really did, did show, you know, that, that they have a lot to offer. But talking about a young player with a lot to offer, like you know, Ethan Dumortier, he was sensational in the Six Nations. And the fact that you know, these guys who got in ahead of him just shows the depth of talent that France have to pick from. You got uh, Emmeline Galaton there as well. Baptiste Serene, so he obviously uh, missed out to Luku in that battle to be, you know, Dupont's backup, really. And I guess, you know, Dupont, he's, he's not very often injured and he plays most games anyway. So you probably don't need too many, too many players to back up, and it gives you a little bit of leeway in terms of picking the rest of the squad. But if we look at the squad, then they've gone with uh, what is it, nineteen to fourteen is the split, right? Yeah, uh, between forwards and backs. So a lot you've seen a lot of squads in that where they've got gone for that maybe you know extra forward in, instead of a back, and and maybe you know whether it's whether it's you know a center not making it or in this case a nine or whatever, um, you know, the, this seems to be the way to go for a lot of the squads. But looking at the squad itself, like as I said, it just absolutely drips with with quality. Like you got, uh, you know, 
Gregory Aldrich there, amazing player. You got uh, Thibaut Flamon, you got Cameron Wokey, Paul Willemse, like three players who you know, would be pushing for starts in probably any second row you know, in uh, or across the globe. They're all that good. Um, and then, yeah, the back row, you got the likes of, you know, Aldrit there. Um, and you got Ollie Bond as well, like two just amazing players. And then players the likes of, you know, um, who who were very, like, Jalange there as well. And, you know, in the front row, you got Antonio, who's just an absolute beast. You got Aldehiri as well. You got Marshawn. Uh, again, like, it, you know, definitely one of the best hookers in the world. And he's got that breakdown threat as well that, you know, I think by now to be a top class hooker, you can't just do the job of hooker well. You've got to have something else, whether that's like the pace of the pace and stepping of someone like Sheehan or the breakdown threat of someone like Marshawn, the likes of um, Marks for... Um, South Africa as well, you know, you, you've got to have something extra to just propel you into that special, special um, category as well. But like, you're looking at at this, you know, um, French forward group here, there's very few players who you would say, you know, that they're, they're filler players, as it were. And what I mean by that is that you know, someone who is in the squad and will only play against the weakest team in the competition, unless there's like an injury crisis. I think a lot of these players can genuinely be pushing for inclusion in the match day 23, and I think that's very, very important. You say the same for the backs as well. Like the likes of Biel Bieri has just been sensational in the last couple of games that he has played. Uh, Kulan has, has impressed as well. Jonathan Dante coming back into the team again another massive breakdown th threat there anton dupont like best easily best nine in the world there's not even you know don't mention anyone else because nobody's is on his level at nine and he's in that conversation of best player in the world and best player maybe of his generation he got gail fiku you know form center um you know people, i've seen people saying that he is possibly the best 13 in the, in the world. And, you know, if he performs at, at, at the World Cup, it's going to be very hard to argue against that. Uh, Anton Hastoy and Matthew Jalaber, so both of them, you know, will be battling out for that 10 spot now that Entmac is out. So they're, you know, they're still like quality, quality players. And it's, it's you know, it's almost a slight to say that this is one part where it's a step down, but I, what I'm talking about is just how special Entomac was. Like, Astoy and Jalabar are really good players, and, you know, again, they have the opportunity to to show that they are on that level as well in the World Cup. Uh, then you got uh, Jaminet there as well, who kind of, you know, I wouldn't say came in from the cold, but, you know, uh, was certainly one of the players, I think, who who was battling for inclusion in the squad, wasn't really guaranteed a spot. But again, quality. Luku, again, I think, who beat out Serene to be the backup to Dupont. Um, so, you know, that's maybe one area where, you know, Anton Dupont, again, doesn't get injured all that often and generally plays almost the entire game when he does play. So, you know, unless Dupont is injured, you're not really putting all that much on your reserve nine the way other teams might. Like other teams would give their reserve nine maybe somewhere between, you know, 10 and 20 minutes at the end of the game. Luku might come on for the last minute or might not come on at all. Then you got uh, Mo Fana there as well. Um, you know, really good player. You got... Uh, like Tamar Ramos at fullback doing the kicking, absolutely, you know, nailing his kicks. Jalaber, when he filled in there as well, he was doing exactly the same. Then you got Pernod and Villiers on, on the wings, like two just class, class operators. Art of Vincent, uh, who looked a little bit 
ropey um, in the last game, but you know, still a quality, quality, quality player. So, you know, you just look at this, you can see why they're one of the favorites, if not the favorite, to, to lift the World Cup because the, it's hard to see in that squad like where the weaknesses are in terms of players like you know you, you're thinking like how many injuries do they have to have in in a certain position you know when they dig down into their depth where you're going to have someone who who is who is going to be a liability to them like it's 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 a very deep i think uh for france even outside of the the players listed here i think they still have plenty of quality that they could potentially call on and you know with with the young players coming through as well that looks like it's going to continue for many years so yeah absolutely dripping with quality this squad